Hey guys, it's Mini Cooper back with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video, and uh, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a very interesting mural or drawing, and uh, also something confusing about this game that I don't quite understand, but uh, before I get into it, I'd very much appreciate it if you guys did drop a like and also subscribe so you guys can stay tuned for more Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this, but with that out of the way guys, let's get straight into this video. So in Red Dead Redemption 2, there are tons of mysteries and easter eggs you guys can find throughout the game from treasure maps that lead you to strange places to the very strange people you guys can meet on the street and uh, you can even find tons of weird drawings and carvings or murals all over the place uh, but one in particular is this one. Now uh, to unlock this one, you will have to do this stranger mission which is located fairly close to uh, strawberry so it's not that hard to find but uh, once you find it if you guys approach it you'll notice someone sitting on the step outside of his house and uh, as you can see here he's got some sort of red mark around his eye I'm not too sure if it's a burn or something but um anyway this guy is a very strange person he almost reminds me of Omega from GTA 5 and you'll see why very soon but this guy seems to be obsessed with drawings and carvings around the map and he'll end up asking you to try and find them and uh, I'll show you a map right here of where all the locations are and uh, you can pause the video right here so you guys can try to find them yourself and uh, it's not that hard you just go right up to the carving press triangle to inspect it and uh, you will end up uh, drawing it out and, uh, and yeah so it's actually really really easy now once you finish drawing them what you want to do is go to the post office and send them uh, to this guy here and then what you want to do once you've sent them wait at least 24 in-game hours so you could either go around doing something or you could go ahead and sleep for 24 hours and then when you guys go back to the uh, post office you will receive some mail from him you will receive uh, some gifts and you will also receive a invitation to go see him again now you'll be very surprised as to what you guys will see next and now I'm not going to spoil it for you guys you guys will have to try and figure out what happens next but uh, let's just say he is uh, turns out to be a time traveler but anyway uh, when you guys go in here you will see this very strange mural or drawing on the wall and if you guys make your way over there you will notice a few things about it firstly you'll notice someone that seems to be going through a portal of some sort and uh, this person actually looks like the uh, strange person that you meet uh, because you can tell by the mark around his eye. Now this mural obviously stands for time travel and uh, let me tell you why. Because if you divide this mural up into four quarters you will kind of see that each quarter or corner has a uh, theme to it. If you look in the top left corner you will notice this almost looks futuristic. Uh, and for this sort of era, uh, futuristic may have looked like this to some people. Um, and you will see uh, an atomic symbol and also the DNA symbol. Now I'll uh, explain those a little bit later. But uh, you will notice in the bottom left corner, it almost looks like modern age or the sort of era of GTA. And then also in the top right corner, you will notice some sort of western theme which is the era of uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 and then in the bottom right corner is almost like prehistoric now uh, these are obviously different time eras or time zones and uh, it looks like he seems to be teleporting through each time now I'm not too sure if you look closely uh, it almost looks like he's changing age as he's going through and at the very top you could see that uh, right in the middle you could see his head and then to the left of his head you will notice there's a baby and then a grown man and then on the far right side you will notice a old man and then the bottom right side you will notice a skull so it's almost like uh like he's aging from a baby to pretty much death but um but another thing that really stood out for me was these cogs or gears uh in the behind the portal and uh first initial thought of that was uh gears inside a clock uh, i don't know why like almost as if they were gears from big ben or something like that and uh that immediately made me thought this is obviously time travel 
Now, somehow this guy has managed to make some sort of time traveling device, uh, and it's probably somewhere around Red Dead Redemption 2's map, and uh, it's just a matter of time before we find it. But there's actually something that doesn't quite make sense to me. And that is the fact that if you guys look around Red Dead Redemption 2, you guys may notice or find things around the place that are almost linked to the GTA 5 mysteries. For example, the uh, atomic symbol and the uh, DNA symbol. Those things could be possibly linked to the uh, mysteries from the Doomsday Heist. But anyway, the reason why this doesn't make sense to me is because of the fact that in Red Dead Redemption 2, they mention places like San Francisco and New York and like newspapers and I believe some people uh, mention those places as well. And uh, in the GTA universe, those places don't exist. Those places are called San Fierro and uh, Liberty City. So uh, unless Red Dead Redemption 2 breaks the fourth wall, and if you guys don't know what that is, it's pretty much a wall or an imaginary wall between the audience and the uh, content or whatever it is uh, for a movie the fourth wall is the camera lens so for a video game the fourth wall will be your TV screen or something like that and uh, basically it's when uh, the character kind of interacts with the audience uh, that's what breaking the fourth wall is so uh, I thought I'll just throw that out there uh, it's kind of interesting to see a few GTA 5 mysteries in Red Dead Redemption 2 and then also another thing that's really confusing is the fact that in Red Dead Redemption 2 uh, you get the double action revolver but in GTA 5 you get the same gun, exact same thing and uh, you kind of go on a treasure hunt to try and find it. So I find that really really bizarre, I'm not too sure what's going on there. Uh, obviously these places can't be connected because of the fact that uh, this mentions real life uh, cities where GTA 5 has uh, imaginary cities or made up cities. But uh, I, like I said, I just thought I'd throw that out there. But um, that's really it for my video guys. Hopefully you guys did go ahead and enjoy this video. And if you guys did, please be sure to drop a like. That would be very much appreciated. And like I said before, if you guys uh, subscribe, you guys can stay tuned for more Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. But uh, with that out of the way guys, I will see you in my next video.